Hey everyone, welcome to the last challenge video for this What the Hack serverless hack video series. My name is Gwen, I'm a cloud developer advocate here at Microsoft and your host for these videos. Uh, so we're on the last challenge, which is optional challenge B, data in Cosmos DB. And the goal with this challenge is to do some queries or a query actually in our Cosmos DB data explorer and sort of get familiar with how we could go about querying our data. So it tells us that in our Cosmos DB account, we need to open data explorer. I've got Cosmos DB opened in my portal. I'm going to hit our, the account that we set up on the left side, hit data explorer. And then it tells us here to examine the contents of process and needs manual review. So we'll go to process. We'll open items here and we got a bunch in here items. And then we have like license plate text, timestamp, license plate found, false, exported, and then needs manual review. And then we have a couple of items in here that need manual review apparently. Okay, cool. Uh, it tells us to create a new SQL query of process documents where exported equals false. So I'm gonna hit new SQL query uh, with those three dots to the right of the items. And then I'm gonna say from processed C where C dot exported because that is that value that we're looking for. Uh, exported here equals false and then hit execute query. And this is going to return all of the items in this collection that have exported equaled false. So this is, these are all the items that are going to get cleaned up, uh, by that workflow that we created. So if I run that manually, let's see, um, and remember it's set to run every 15 every 15 minutes, but if I can trigger it to run at any time, really, uh, just by hitting that run trigger, run. And let's see what it does. Let's open that up in the designer. And it looks like uh, the expression is true. So if we go over to uh, our data explorer again, and then we hit execute query, we now have zero because all of those have been exported. So that means the C that exported was now set to true for all of them. So we don't have any false ones and success criteria for this challenge is you have been able to successfully create the Cosmos DB account and we have, and congrats. You have now completed all the challenges in the, what the hack serverless hack. I have plenty more resources to recommend to you all. They'll be in the description and anything that you will potentially need to sort of, you know, take these projects and these learnings a step further and continue your serverless learnings will also be in the description. And I'm going to have sort of a recap or wrap up video after this one. Uh, but if this is where you end your journey with me, it's been awesome. If you have any questions, again, everything that you'll need will be in the description. Please feel free to leave comments as well. Um, and thank you for coming on this uh, serverless journey with me. And I hope you've learned a lot. And if I don't see you in the next video, catch me sometime at the Microsoft Reactor with some on-demand content or on my next Reactor event. All right, thanks for watching.